Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping. On this video, I, I'm back with the step two class. So I'm going to show you what we have accomplished and me and my students in the five day step two class. We, I'm going to teach them how to build uh, all the panels for 33 routes like the one that I have inside me here. And uh, I'm not sure how much we can get done in five days. Depends on the students and it depends on me as a teacher and how good I have prepared. But uh, I think we can accomplish a lot in, in five days. Those people that are taking the class, step two class, they have only taken the step one class before. So I, th I think they're going to do pretty good. So let's take a look at those videos, piece by piece. Here you can see the rear quarter panels and uh, the door skins that uh, is made after those two days in the step two class. They came out really nice. Little small adjustments maybe when we start putting all this stuff together. The door skins have been folded on the edge. Uh, the bead have been put on there and the top of the door there needs to be trimmed before we do the top pieces in two pieces and weld those together. Here you can see the cowl piece on the right side uh, on, and I made the firewall so those pieces came out really nice. He used, uh, they are a little different compared to the four doors. Uh, cowl or the coop door or cowls so but uh, it, it's it's many hours in the in those pieces but they came out really nice I'm really happy with them so the guys did a good good job in the class there you can see the other side of it and um, so it's important to work parallel with left and right side at the same time so each student when they're making parts they're making left and right side at the same time and run one bead on one panel, run the other bead on the other panel and it's so much easier to keep track on and make them symmetrical from side to side uh, and that helps a lot when you start putting the pieces together like we had done here on the cowl and we can we, we can we can see what if it's anything different but if we keep them parallel and symmetrical when we make them the chances are way bigger that they're going to fit and they're going to be correct when we put them on the car or put them on the firewall so this is after the two days and we're going to continue on more on wednesday so we have three more days to go in the class so i'm looking forward to what this is going to look like in the end but i think we can get pretty much done for the 33 Roadster. Here's another another view of the the firewall and the jig but also you can see the sides of the cowls on each side and it's important to look from the front view so you can see they they stick out the same amount and so on. Here you can see the inside and this is what I did last night Tuesday evening and I made the brackets inside and the X and of course I cross measure it and make sure that it's 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 everything is square and um, that uh, bracket there it helps so now it's it's solid and I'm going to show you one more thing on this so there is the side of the cowl so I made use this profile gauge on my roadster that you have seen before and I put it two inches below this edge and then I check this side so that matching that this is is important because this is, is the firewall is a zero point and the width is correct here in the back but because of this split here for this little bubble then I can adjust this to fit this profile. 
And of course, then I can take this template and go over to the other side. So this is very important to have that straight mounted to the firewall and get everything correct before we continue put the doors in there. Here you can see a few more pieces that have been done in the step two class. Um, this is the piece from the door and back uh, two and a half feet about that. And this has been done in the English wheel and the bead roller, but it's, it's um, made in one piece. So it's uh, not a separate piece. So I find out a little new way to do things like that. And um, I'm going to show you that later uh, on the YouTube video how I can make that. But it's pretty interesting to be able to raise this up from a little bit here in the, in the front and then increasing the height of this. And of course when we make that we make it left and right side at the same time. So we can put them side by side and we can compare both so they are close to the uh, very close to the template and when you look at it like this if both are looking the same as well then when they sit four feet apart on a car or maybe more then uh, it you, you can never see that little small difference and even the original cars wasn't wasn't 100 percent symmetrical from side to side but those parts came out really good. I'm really happy with it. And here is uh, two other pieces that another student working on. So this is the top of the cowl. So they are probably about halfway done now. We need to trim the bottom part a little bit. We need to start making that little bead that go above the dashboard and then fit one side to the car and then we're going to fit the other side. Those two pieces is very difficult to make in one piece to have everything fit. So we overlap them in the center and make sure that everything is correct and then we can scribe it and then we can trim it and then we can weld it together there. That little weld there and hammer and all of that, that's, that's easy to do. So it's important to not be not be stupid and, and try to make it in one piece just because I don't want any well there. That little well there, you know, maybe take a 30 minutes or an hour to do the weld and hammer and all it and grind it and so. So it's it's a uh, it's much well, better way to do left and right side. Here you can see the what we have done so far. This is on Thursday, and we have one more day to go. Uh, the Cowl sides is there, the doors is there. Uh, we're missing the top of the door, that will be on Friday. And the rear quarter panel is there, and I'm going to film a little in the back so you can see that as well. Here is the left side of it, and I'm really happy with them. They have done a very good job, um, they learned a lot. I learned a lot as a teacher as well, and uh, we, we we, we solved any problems when it shows up. If it showed up, we solved them and we could move forward. And it, it's all coming together now and everything is square and, and everything is solid with brackets inside. And I'm going to show you that as well. Here you can see the inside of the, the body and we cross measure everything. And when it's, it's the right dimensions from uh, the width of the car, uh, on the top and on the bottom down to the rocker panel when everything of that is correct we can put the this bar in and then we cross mesh across cross it and then I weld it here in the center as well so now the the first part was to put the cowl on cowl sides to the firewall and then we had this first section solid so nothing can move there. That is very important when you're building something. If you have a little bit loose and then, then you don't know when you continue building the body where it, it, it moved. Then we tack welded the doors to the, the cowl sides. 
and we hold that with strong magnets and uh, I tack welded the door with a gap and then we measure the same thing here in the back so we measure the width and the width of the bottom we can hold that the bracket to the rocker panel and then we pro put an X in, this, in there as well and weld it there so now that the first section is solid the door section is solid and then we can continue with the rear quarter panels and uh, uh, they was overlapping a little first so we could put them in the right position for the length so we can measure from where the rear fender bolts and to the front of the cowl and then we could scribe it on the inside of the B pillar of the door and uh, subtract for the door gap and then we could run that step in the bead roller the rear quarter panel is a little behind the door so it's we made a little step there here you can see the back back of the car and they have done a very good job i'm really proud of my students and they follow my instruction and did very good job so this is the first test after we put the rear quarter panels the doors and the cowl and uh, the front piece above the deck lid and below the deck lid and now we put on the sides of the rear quarter panels the top of the rear quarter panels that was the first test now now we can check the templates and see so we are okay so we don't have any low spots and so i know we haven't i have noticed we have a little low spots here but we can take care of that before we weld this in. It's important to, to clamp both sides and I recommend to let it sit overnight. If it looked good yesterday and when we come in now on, on Friday morning and if it still looks good then, then we can start trim it and uh, fit it in and tack weld it in. We also need to bend the flange here. That flange is a little too long now so that's going to be uh, trimmed a little bit and then bend the flange that's the first thing and then shrink that one in so that's what it looks like there now so we have one more day to go here you can see the right side of the car and both sides looks very everything looks great great but it also has to do with the way I prepared everything and set up everything square before we even started the class. That is very important. If that is a little crooked, it's, it's going to fall off all the way to the back. It's like building a house. If the foundation is crooked, it's going to be crooked all the way to the, to the roof. Um, same thing here. If, we, we, if everything is straight from the beginning and we're moving for to the back of the car little by little section by section it's going to be straight and it seems like this class it paid off my hours weeks that i did for preparing this so i'm really happy with the result i think this is going to be a great car and uh, we have one more day to go so we have a little more to film tomorrow here you can see what we had done on Friday, yesterday, and um, we got most of the parts uh, tack welded together, trimmed, tack welded together for the back of the car. Um, I'm going to show a little on the other side too, but um, everything came out really good. Uh, I'm happy with it. Um, it's very important when you build something like this that everything is square everything is straight so it's, the body is not twisted if the body is built straight so so it has flow and everything you can always take care of the small dents or small dings or a low spots or a high spot you can always fix that later but if the body is twisted you can't do nothing it is scrap piece 
I mean, that is, that is the worst scenario that you can run into if the body is twisted and not straight from side to side. That is terrible to work with. And so that is very important. And if you're building a car for yourself, make sure that it is straight from the, from the front to the back and, and cross measure it and make sure that everything is up to, to, to the right specifications because twisted body, you can never do anything to it. Here's the other side. Uh, the front piece of the top of the, the rear quarter panel that is uh, clamped on now and it's ready with small adjustments we did and now it's ready to scribe it, trim it and tack weld it on. The rest of the back of the car is, is there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to show you a little short clip for the front that we have been working on, but we didn't have enough time in five days to finish the top of the door, top of the cowl, but the parts are done, but they always need adjustments. And the top of the cowl is, is a very, very tricky piece to make. So that is time consuming to get everything to fit to the firewall fit to the uh, to the doors and the width and the curve and it's a lots of things going on there here you can see that um, we we're missing the top of the doors it's not that too complicated pieces to make uh, pretty simple to make we have made them but we didn't have time to trim them in fit them to the rear quarter panel and uh, make them so they're matching to the top of the cowl. The top of the cowl is also missing. And um, uh, we have worked on those parts. They are close, but we need to, to fine tune the parts together so it, it's matching the rest. And it, it, it is time consuming. And we run out of time uh, yesterday on Friday. But this is what we have done in so far in five days and three students and I'm really happy with it. So I'm looking forward to see some or show you some more um, videos from the step two classes in the future here, 2022. We're going to work on three more roadsters and two 32 three window coupe bodies. How much we can get done in the 32-3 window coupe bodies, I don't know. But now I at least know how much we can get done for the 33 Roadster. So the next two classes will be a little bit easier. I can uh, approach it a little bit different when I'm teaching and how we make the parts and so on. So every day is a school day. I learned a lot from this class and uh, that's what, what we have. This is what I had for this week's uh, video for, from the Step 2 class. And if you like what you have seen here, um, please click subscribe. Go to my website and see what merchandise I have there. And uh, I will be back with more uh, videos. I find out some new tricks and stuff that I can make smaller videos about tips and tricks. So you can learn more. Every day is a school day, remember that. So if you want more information, go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye.